everybody, Tom here with Permaculture Wilmington. Um, I'm coming at you today looking at this fire ant mound that I got rid of yesterday, or I tried to. Um, now, two days ago, I came out with a garden fork and I just uh, aerated the area um, around the, the fire ant mound. And the following day, the mound had been re erected by the ants so much that you couldn't even see the the um, where the tines went into the soil. Like right here, you, you can still see them from yesterday. Now, I do see some ants here. Maybe if I messed it up, um, if we'd see them come out like they normally do. Guys, there's no ants. They're gone. I don't see any. At least they're not coming out. I mean, wait with me here. Bear with me. And, and see, this is... Uh, guys, you're seeing me amazed here because I actually thought when I did that I was going to see ants come out because it, it appeared that they had might have... Uh, re-erected this area and we're going to start working i was actually about to tell you guys that it needed to have more concentration put on the entire mound but the ants are gone so guys i, I know several of you had some fire ant issues you were dealing with so i want to get this information to you as quick as possible but i mean look at this i mean you can see this whole area here all the way down no ants and they didn't just move like five feet over there's no there's no other mounds here so they they're gone guys this is amazing look and still minutes later guys look at look at this no i'm putting my hands in the mound and digging around there's no ants there's none i am so excited i use science to figure out how to get rid of fire ants they're gone guys this is awesome this is super cool all right i'm I'll, I'll, i'm posting it i expect questions because this is so cool compost tea guys all i did was and you saw the video i've got a video of it i just put a, a fork in the ground aerated it and then poured compost tea on it here we go guys this is awesome this this is our understanding increasing based on other people's research and all we had to do was look it up and stop taking other people's advice and using chemicals and things that are harmful for our soil biology biology is the trick all right i love you guys i'm so happy you're sharing this excitement with me because this is cool if you guys want to see um what's going on down here i've been aerating i've been aerating the soil in front of my polyculture box here and um, you can see the, the radish is coming back vigorously. I mean, look at this. Um, so I'm just really excited about this, guys. Everything's looking, looking good and it's all coming back. It's all working well. So very exciting, guys. I hope you're sharing in the excitement with me. I hope you guys are in a good place and you've got lots of food and you're safe. Remember, there's a thousand people a day in America dying right now still from this virus. So don't think it's gone. The, the troubles are still here. They're still at our door. We got to be careful about this stuff, guys. So I hope you're well. I hope you're in a good place. And I hope you're living regeneratively and growing abundantly. This is Tom with Permaculture Wilmington. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.